Now at 11, a high-speed police chase spilling onto a South Florida neighborhood. Cops going after a stolen car that had no intention of stopping. CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho talked to scare residents, including a father whose two little girls were outside when the car zoomed by. Right by this tree is where the crash ended. The Broward Sheriff's Office tells us that it was a stolen vehicle from all the way on the west side of Florida in Cape Coral. That's more than two hours away from this West Park neighborhood. Yeah, I was hiding. <laughs> that thing scared me. A West Park resident stayed inside her home, startled, seeing and hearing the end of a car chase on the corner of Southwest 25th Street and Southwest 38th Avenue. And I refused to come out until I saw a lot of police is getting out. Police arrested three people, two females and a male, after deputies tracked them down in what they say was a stolen vehicle. The Broward Sheriff's Office says its aviation unit tracked the silver sedan through different cities in Broward County. Chopper 4 flew over the chase, seeing unmarked law enforcement vehicles in pursuit from I-95 off the interstate down a neighborhood street running it off the road and eventually cornering the car. Right, somewhere right off here. Right in front of your home? Yes. This father of two says his daughters were playing out front as the pursuit raced by his home. Chopper 4 captures one of his daughters riding her bike on the lawn right before law enforcement pins the silver sedan. It's Friday evening, kids out, you know, coming from school. You know, you can't drive like that. Just thinking back on it. Scary, I man, scary. You don't need them type of stuff in that neighborhood, man. How thankful are you, thinking back on it now, that your daughters are A-OK? -okay? Safe. Are safe. Can't, I, I can't say, 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 say word. I don't have word. And the father tells us that he thanks the Lord that his girls are good. As for the latest, the Broward Sheriff's Office tells us that there are charges pending, including fleeing and evading law enforcement and grand theft auto. They also tell us no injuries were reported. Reporting from West Park, Joe Gorcho, CBS News, Miami.